Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome back to my studio. Today we're gonna paint a very beautiful flower, it's a dahlia flower, uh, cafe au lait, if you know the sort of dahlias, uh, that's my favorite. And it's very tender and it has a big variety of shades and I hope you really enjoy the process. So let's start. So let's start. Let's start painting Dahlia with, uh, you see, with no sketch, it will be a complete improvising and I really hope it will turn out pretty lovely. I would like to paint Dahlia in this amazing uh, Café au lait, Café au lait type, um, which has very beautiful cream shades and what i'm doing now with um, cadmium orange i paint in the middle i it's just the beginning so no need to be very precise i just recommend you to use some brush with a very fine tip Uh, to make the petals really, really nice, really shapey. I'm, um, I started with cadmium orange and I now add drop by drop rose. It's the name of the color rose. I love it. It's, um, it gives such a beautiful blends around. So that's uh, the middle of our dahlia and from here it will be um, like opening of the flower. So I will try to take a thicker brush for this and mm, I took a, a pink one, no, let's, I'm making very very pale I'm making very pale shades here. And if I mix um, right here, it's uh, alizarin crimson, and I mix it with orange, and I get this nice creamy shade. And just with one move, I create these petals all around all around and i'm painting now with a very very pale color so i will have an opportunity to add something later on on the top remember dahlia um dahlia petals they have this um curvy shape it's like your palm and a little bit closed uh, and so here is the darkest part and that's the lightest part around the pulp and to show that you could leave a white area because in watercolor we do not really have a white color all whites we create it's a white paper so it's important to keep in mind this and always always leave some white spaces and this adds a lot of lovely crispiness another way to create white spaces is to clean your brush dry your brush with a paper towel and blot a little bit the color it works while uh, the paper is still wet but usually like this you could create really 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 nice volume oops, oops. and like this let's finish this part i always recommend you to create some different blends during the process uh, because uh, if you paint just 
with the pink, for example, it's it's get boring. Or another tip, when you yourself feel a little bit bored, maybe it's time to change your, your colors. Maybe it's time to add something. I basically paint all the flower with one or uh, two brushes and um, sometimes I paint with the body of the brush, with the belly of the brush and with the tip I add this crispiness, which is very typical for dahlias. And the beauty of dahlia flowers that it has a lot of layers, which could be a little bit freaking out, um, because I, <laughs> for me, for example, the more petals the flower has, the more challenging it is, the more frightening it is to paint. At least it was um, when I was painting botanical, traditional botanical illustration. Um, so poppies are okay, but dahlias, uh, it's, that's the horror movie, uh, was back then, but um, I, now I find this um, loose style technique, it's uh, much more relaxing and nevertheless it's very, very beautiful. And I hope it's... Uh, much less stressful for you when when you paint just um, in one layer with some strokes around so i'm creating right now the uh, bottom layer and always 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 you could see i always add try to add some white space between the petals and i uh, change my colors i do not use that much it's a uh, permanent orange it's alizarin crimson rosa color i have a little bit of purple quinacridone but i'm not that sure if i use it maybe i will I'm not very happy with this area, uh, but I think we could fix it later because it looks like a big, big, <laughs> big something, <laughs> big blob. Uh, but once it dry, I will add an uh, extra layer of petals here. Right now, I am taking a cleaning brush, number six, number five, um, it could be all good and I create on my palette I would like to make a little bit bolder mixture but still in these nice uh, muted colors and to get that muted colors permanent orange is just perfect in combination with uh, lizard crimson so anyway Let's see what we got. And with the tip of the brush, um, I try to create the shades in between our um, middle of our dahlia. And I try to emulate um, the real shades of the real flower, but no stress, no... It, shouldn't be one by one copying of a photo or copying of the flower um, what you have for a reference you just need to catch with your eye the main principle for example with dahlia it's very very dense in the very middle the most shady area I just do it with tipping and around the middle it's a lot of shades and i want to emphasize just few of central petals and don't be afraid to add more contrasts 
sometimes I know that it is <laughs> very not recommended um, by many artists, but sometimes I just take a color from, from my palette, like this. That's I'm getting bold. Well, that's how I'm getting very bold. color. I wash my brush, I clean my brush and I make some shades a little bit smoother around. And now I create the other layer. I just go with the tip of the brush and trying to emulate these dahlias, um, second layer of the petals. I um, try to change the thickness of the lines. Again, for the variety, I take clean brush, dry it a little bit and distribute the shade just a little bit, just a little bit. So these white petals will really pop up. And like this. And always keep in mind that there is another layer of petals maybe another one here and there you could have a look on uh, the picture on your reference um, but just to follow how the petals grows there if you get that idea that's enough i'm pretty happy with the middle mm, there will there could be more adjustments but right now I would like to add one more layer of of main big petals. I'm taking the bigger brush and carefully I create this layer of petals and the more curvy you do it the better. The more random the direction is, is the nicer. I, you know, I try to make some bleeds here and there and it's actually very handy to paint, to have two brushes. So you could use the bigger brush for lighter areas and immediately add some shades with the thinner brush. I always try to keep some white area, uh, although it's not white, but it will be lighter anyway, and it creates this beautiful contrast like this and I add a lot of a lot of strokes just with the tip of the brush uh, and it helps to create uh, these moves um, feeling of the movement uh, randomness just like this. Right now I would like to add some shades to, to the bottom area. I clean my brush, I dry my brush, I distribute a little bit these colors, not so much. Right now I just emphasize in some parts, some shady parts, creating some contrast.
uh, you could paint in a um, lot of layers, uh, but of course um, it depends on on the paper, the thicker your paper, uh, the better. Right now my paper is uh, 200 grams. Um, it's okay, I would say, but 300 grams would be would be nice uh, and um, gives you it gives you more um, <laughs> self confident um, with going with the layers. She's also it's helpful. The more I go to the edges of the flower, the lighter color I am taking because that's the focal point of the flower and all these nice um, petals they just create the volume and what I would like to do at the end I would like to dry this part and add small extra row of the petals I dried the paper and now with with the tip of the brush I create this extra layer of petals. Right now basically I'm painting the shady parts and they will create that volume. with the tip of the brush only with the tip of the brush and you see I'm making relatively random relatively <laughs> random moves because I want our Dahlia looks very airy very mm, light not over overdone with details so that's one extra layer, a little bit more of contrast to these petals or to the front petals. I sometimes I look through the camera and through the camera um, things look very different. For example, I see that this petal could be a bit, a bit lightened up, so I wash my brush and with relatively um, wet brush, I water in the area, take a paper towel and blot it out and add some contrast on the very very edge like this now it's time for contrast you could go directly into your palette to get these bold bold colors and randomly just around you add some shades never ne never try to um, outline each and every petal um, that wouldn't look airy just some strokes around very random emulating the moves of the petal and all these beautiful folds of Dahlia all these nice vines. If you think, uh, for example, here I think I went a little bit too bright. I water and I go on the top with the paper towel. So I think I'm. Uh, that's that's very lovely result. I would like to add some some green leaves around 
Mm. What I will take? I will take chromium green. It has this muted, um, muted green shade, which will be very nice um, pair to our to our dahlia. For example, I would like add a leaf here. One. It feels a little bit too bright. I wash my brush, I dry my brush, and I remove. I remove some of the unnecessary paintings um, and I would like to add one more leaf for example here and some uh, some feeling feeling some might be small brush um small a uh, small brush with um, additional flowers like this and the same on the bottom how I'm painting uh, leaves um, basically with the belly of the brush and I distribute the, uh, the medium watercolor around one, two, let's see I'd like to remove a little bit of heat one, two feels like would be nice to add something here but I, I got a little bit bored of this green I add cobalt green to make it a little bit bluish I will so um, I paint um, the middle vine with the belly of the brush I just distribute some some color i do not pay too much attention on this stage to to the greenery to the leaves because that's not the main hero in this picture and it should not grab the attention and I think we are done. That's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed the process and I'm looking forward to see your dahlias. Tag me on Instagram, olga.girls. Subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.